last shot video summer maintenance i would call it if you own an old car you know that things just break that we're working fine from one moment to the next one issue is now the wiper the rear wiper doesn't work anymore just stopped working i don't know why and i'm gonna see what the issue here is also the other thing i want to do for a while now is replace this rear latch issue here being that the snapper doesn't go back the spring i guess is tired inside and i have a new one or a used one which works so i'm gonna replace this as well while i'm in here looking for checking the wiper motor for this to take off plastic cover see where we end up to take this off it's basically just two screws here and there and just these two clips come right out To replace this is basically just two Torx uh, screws. Take these out and then one here. Then you have to unhook this doodab and then this should come out. We'll do that for the wiper motor. Okay, there's a couple of bolts, three of them. And then this one should also just come out. I have to probably remove this to see why it's not turning on. Not sure why. Well, I'll just take the connection first. Here, there it is. Where do I start? Um, I think I'm gonna start replacing this. I undid the screw and clip this piece and this thing should just slide out this way which it does so the old one and then I have a good one which I'm gonna now just swap in like that This is now bolted in the new one two screws here this one tightened and the rod here is in hooked into the latch as well so hopefully now it's tested this stupid. so let's test it now if it closes yes. closes shut unlatch and now this clip or this latch actually goes back because the spring is not tired like on the old one it was very annoying always had to push it back to close the punch right so that's fixed nice firm latch and next thing is to see what the hell is going on with this why this one refused to work and stop working so to take the wiper motor out i have to remove the rear wiper with this nut here so i'm gonna do that and now just Loosen these mounting bolts. One, two, three. It's just the out hose. So let's check it. Um, yeah, I can't really see anything. What's wrong with this? So I'm gonna open it up, see if anything is jammed inside, and then connect it and see if it needs to turn or whatever. So hopefully I find a defect inside. Okay, so to open it, there's some torque screws here, which I'm gonna open up and then see if I can find anything. This thing, like so, see what it's doing. Crack these open. Hopefully, we're gonna find something. Crack this puppy open. Basically, okay, here we go already. We find, oh shit, okay. Oh, this doesn't look good. Seems to be broken here, but that's just a seal. Couldn't prevent it from working. Okay, we did it right. So, all right, here's the mechanism. It's a little bit gunky. I was thinking it's gonna be all rusted up, but it's not, still some grease cover. So for some reason, this doesn't turn. What I'm gonna to try to do is hook it up like this manually and then see if anything happens here when we apply power to it. 
So I just connected it just to see and I turned on the wiper stalk for the rear and it actually started working. So I don't know what's going on here. Let's wait for the interval to finally see. Not at a turn. So I thought it was seized up, but actually it's not. So I'm not sure why this thing sporadically doesn't work. I'm gonna give it another shot. It should turn on with one push, which it does if I do long. Now we turn ignition on, see if it makes any difference. One push, nothing. One long, nothing. Off. And now it's, yeah, it's running. I don't know what, this is really weird. Okay. Short, nothing, long. No. So when I push long, which is for the spray, it works. But normal interval, one short push doesn't work. <sighs> it's really annoying. I mean, it's not binding up or anything. Okay, so I cleaned it a little bit. There was some gunk inside and lubed it and now it's working. So I'm assuming it just got jammed up and needed a cleaning. So I'm gonna clean a little bit more. Here the uh, linkage here. And there's some, yeah, see? Now it's working, fine. I'll clean it up, lube it, and then close it and reassemble it. So yeah, it was just a matter of dark corrosion and binding, which is good. Didn't really feel like getting a new one, so. So I just cleaned up the gear and put some universal grease on it, lube it up nicely, and now I'm gonna put the cover back on, install it again. Hopefully it'll just continue working. I mean, yeah, like I said, this is an old motor. It needs some love, so I'm gonna put it back together and then reinstall it in the car. So I installed the motor again and tapped the interval switch stock, and now it's working again as it should. I mean, yeah, this is just an annoying thing, so I decided to fix the latch here and the wiper, so that works fine. Sometimes I wish the car didn't come with one. These were actual, actually optional on these compacts because practically you don't really need it with the way the slope is of the window. The water really beats off and the wiper is, in my opinion, not necessary. And it would look a lot cleaner without the wiper option, but okay. it's on there. I mean, I could just take it off, but then I would have a hole here. I could look for a new hatch, install it, but what the hell. It's working now. One annoying thing less, so I'm glad that worked out. Let's turn it off again. One quick push. Now it should stop. No, okay, that wasn't enough. You do one more time. Okay, now it's stopped. Yeah, so that's done and I can continue. Other small tidbits I want to tackle. One thing while I'm in here is replacing the, the struts or the shocks for the rear hatch. They're kind of weak because see, put it down, kind of doesn't want to go up. Push it, so when I close it, okay, it's closed. And then opening it really has a hard time. And then when it goes up, it doesn't go up all the way. I have to push it up. So those are weak. I have another set here I took from a junk car, which seem to work perfect, so I'm gonna swap these in real quick. For this, it's fairly easy. Just have to unsnap this clip and this clip, and this thing just pops out. So, these ones, like I said, I already feel much strong only with that one, so I'm gonna do the same on this side and put the uh, new one in. Clip. Procedure. Loop joint up, loops up. Good. Then down here. This is it. Wow. Yeah, this is like annoying work. Doing the small, the, the latch, checking the wiper motor, the hood struts. But it's just annoying when these things don't work properly. So, and now you can see, I'll close it. Close. And when I open, much firmer. I mean, they're also used, but it just feels firmer to open, they're holding up easier. It's not drop down slowly like the other ones. Yeah, so at least better than those. Probably not perfect, but still better.